Hi Capricorn, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Capricorn, some of you are dealing with a Gemini during your pre-shuffle. The lovers flew out. Um, you could also be dealing with a Cancer or someone with these placements, but I am already off the bat getting a very strong connection between you and someone else, but I feel like you guys are separated or, you know, you're not physically together is what I'm getting. And again, only take messages that resonate. Let's see. Spirit. What are the messages for Capricorn? Hermit. Virgo energy. We're in Virgo season. So there's some soul searching going on mutually. Okay. Ace of Wands. You know, somebody could have disappeared for some of you guys. There's definitely an energy of like this person withdrawing emotionally or even physically for some of you. And, and it's very interesting to me because it's like now they're in this place of wanting to express something to you. The person who ghosted you or the person who withdrew from you. I feel like you're also trying to emotionally withdraw from some from someone here, but... They want to express something with the Ace of Wands? Let's see. You see them as the Two of Cups. So I'm getting like you like this person. There's also this knowing that somebody likes you back. You could see them as a possible soulmate for some of you. You feel the Four of Pentacles. So you feel like you need to just remain held back. Not give to the connection. There's an energy here of you trying to protect your feelings, trying to protect yourself. How do they see Capricorn? How do they see Capricorn? The devil. <laughs> well, damn, that's your energy. Y'all, they're attached. They need to come back. Somebody wants to come back is what I'm getting and express themselves. But I feel like you know you need to protect yourself from this person. You know, it's so crazy to me because it is always the people who ghost that become obsessive. Okay? Especially when you don't chase after them or when you, you know, they ghost you and you go quiet yourself, you know, there is something, someone has formed quite the obsession with you. And there's an energy of them feeling like it was fate. Judgment card. Someone's going through some type of lesson. And, you know, the universe with the judgment card is using you to put this person through a lesson. Because I feel like this person uh, has a large negative ego. And the will of fortune is them feeling like they need to make a change after what they've done to you. So it's like I'm getting someone didn't handle a situation appropriately and, you know, they're aware of that. Like they're aware of whatever they did was toxic. And so now they're wanting to express themselves to you. Knight of Wands for what they want to do. Come back. Now, the thing about the Knight of Wands is what I want you to be aware of because you are wanting to protect yourself from this person. I see that with the Four of Pentacles, even though you really like them. The Knight of Wands is in and out, um, impulsive and unpredictable. So it's like, yeah, I see this person coming back into your life, wanting to turn things around, but the Knight of Wands is that unpredictable energy. They don't know if they want to stay. All they know is they want to impulsively come back. King of Swords. 
So I do see this person wanting to talk to you. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio energy, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. Yeah, you know, they want to come back unexpectedly, too. They don't want to prepare you for it. It's kind of like someone just wants to shockingly make an entrance, a re-entrance into your life. I feel like this person thrives in chaos. I feel like this person thrives, like they're, they're a thrill seeker. And it's almost like this person wanting to kind of just blow up your reality. Like whatever you've been doing, like whatever your daily routine has been, they want to come in and rearrange that. We have the magician. So this person is a smooth talker. They have a tendency to manipulate. I feel like it's just who they are. I'd watch out with this one, Capricorn. You know, I feel like if somebody ghosted you, I feel like if someone ghosted you, that is very hard to come back from. You're not going to be able to trust this person again anyway. Um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You could block this person. There could be blocks in communication here, but they're under the impression that you're going to push them away. So what are their next actions? The Sun Leo energy. King of Pentacles. Someone's going to come in and, you know, they want to be seen by you, first and foremost. They want you to see them. They want you to see how stable they are. But my problem with this, it feels manipulative. It's almost like somebody wants you to see them in a better light than what you see them in now. They're like, oh, I swear, that's not really who I am. Because they're under the impression, one, you could have already blocked this person. Okay, uh, and somehow they know, or they're just assuming that you did. Now, they're under the impression when they show back up, you're not going to give them the time of day because you, you give this person the impression with the Seven of Wands that you're very strong-headed and that you are protecting your energy with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse Seven of Wands. But this person wants to come in and say, you know, um, that's not really who I am. That's not really who I am. But it was, because they did it, right? Um, why the Eight of Wands? Pisces energy. So it's like somebody wants you to see them through a new perspective. They want you to see them differently. Okay, because they become super fixated on turning things around with you. Why is that exactly? Why the sudden fixation on Capricorn? The death card, Scorpio energy. There's something about your energy that has transformed this person or wants this person to change. I don't know exactly the specifics. It could just be your light, your energy, the way you handled yourself throughout the situation. It's like suddenly they want to change. Suddenly they want to transform uh, and, and do better, okay, in the current energy. But it's like it's the ending that has caused this person to be so fixated on you. And now all of a sudden they're like, I want, I want Capricorn to see me differently. I want them to see me in this light. Uh, Capricorn never got a chance to see the stable side of me, the mature side of me. So I do see this person coming back into your life, but I feel like you're wanting to protect your energy from this person, even though you do like them a lot. And I feel like you should trust your intuition on that.
again, signs you could be dealing with. Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Aquarius. What do they want to say? What's their hidden truth? <laughs> we will be together again, guys. Uh, I still have feelings for you. Guys, this person's coming back. This Mercury retrograde has really uh, caused this person to be hyper, hyper fixated and hyper aware of your energy. And I do see this person turning right back around and coming straight for you. But I want you to keep this Four of Pentacles energy. I do want you to protect yourself from this person. And the reason being is because they are very unpredictable. You know, the Knight of Wands, he's coming back in, but will he stay? Will these changes be permanent? Nine times, nine times out of ten, they're not. Okay. Um, however, do what you want with that information. Trust your inner guidance. And if these messages resonated with you and you like my style, I do appreciate you guys hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. Until next time. Bye.